feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. All the action coming up on EA TV. Welcome on what is a very pleasant day for football here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. He's in here. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Who can he pick out? Making sure nothing came of it. And through for the goal kick. He hit it with power. Ollie Watkins. It's with Douglas Luiz. Well, he successfully got past him. Bailey. Good looking cross. That's a routine take. Saka. And played in. Attending to his defensive chores. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Douglas Luiz. And a tidy challenge. Well, it could be on for him here. Strong hand on that one. Well, no problems defensively. Well, that was a great opportunity to get themselves level. But Arsenal still trail here, mainly due to that brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Could be dangerous. And a touch of finesse. Well, nothing about that chip was very positive. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It's a really wasted chance. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Ben White. Villa unable to retain possession. Oh, in with a chance! And look at that! A goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, you can see his frustration. They've just lost their focus here. So, a level contest. 1-1. Moussa Diaby. Feeding it through. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And well positioned to clear. Leon Bailey. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And a yellow card it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Lot to like about that pass. Oh, really good header. But the goal. Can he put them in front? Splendid defending. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Gabriel Jesus. Saka. Well, that was a very respectable effort from such a long way out. Well, he hits it cleanly, and it's a very good strike, but just not on target. Leon Bailey. On to Diaby. Pau Torres. Difficult to stop him. To take the lead. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space. But he still had some work to do. And I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. McGinn. Teammates available. Alex Moreno. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area and a no-nonsense clearance likes to run with the ball at his feet oh what an opportunity Arsenal well, have won the corner now what can they do with it well just listen to the crowd they know this is a big chance to equalise Delivering it. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. And we're moving ever closer to half-time with Arsenal behind here. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first-half performance. Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening. But they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. Douglas Luiz. Able to skip past his man. What a save! Bukayo Saka. Arsenal could be onto something. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goal. So the ball is rolling again. Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Number three, Diego Carlos. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Diaby. He's in with a chance. Oh, he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him. Lots of space for Arsenal. A real opening now. Gabriel Jesus. And the deflection means a corner.
Over it comes. Really fine catch by the goalkeeper. Under a bit of pressure too. Just the challenge that was required. Effective pressure to regain possession. This could spell trouble with the referee having already shown the yellow card. Ramsey. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Arsenal pushing forward with options available, but timely defending when it mattered. So a half an hour remaining. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bailey! And a goal it is! They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. So back underway. 3-1 the score. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. Well, here's the replay, and what a pass this is from Jesus, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, they're still leading, but it's going to be nervy now. And as you can see, Unai Emery knows it. On they go again, and that goal for Arsenal means they can now entertain thoughts of perhaps drawing level. Bailey. And that'll be Aston Villa's ball. Well, the referee allowing the play to flow. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. And that's an important intervention. to the final 20 minutes oh the threat is there can he put it away in it goes delighted to be two in front things look good for them now well what a team spirit this club has and that comes down to Unai Emery what a celebration that is well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. Coming onto the pitch. Oh, that's a really good run. Trying to chip it. And just over the top in the end, but the idea was good. Well, good effort, you have to say, but it just doesn't come down in time. Havertz. And teammates to play it to. A smart stop here. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. And over it comes, struggling to get it away. Clear deflection, and a corner now.
And there's the delivery. Matty Cash. Well, not far away from full time. And Arsenal know they've really got to up their game considerably, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 24, Reese Nelson. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Could still be dangerous. The danger not over. Terrific piece of anticipation. And he's through here. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. this 4-3 oh chipping it well going for the chip had the confidence to do so and it nearly paid off and it was a clever chip a little bit unlucky really Just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Kai Havertz. And the pass deftly cut out. How can he take them on and beat them? And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Perfectly positioned to take it away. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.